One of the things I uh, love doing is um, simple things, funnily enough, okay? Let me just do this. A nice, clean, single stroke roll. And then... Just moving the right hand between two different drums. That's simple. Using the pivot point, okay, talking about that, okay, and I'll just quickly revise that. I've explained this before, but um, let me do it again. Uh, you've got contact points. You put the backs of the sticks together, the butts of the stick, and that's where you put your wrist, okay, in the air. And then you just pivot between the two. Now what I'm doing here could be considered quavers. One and two and three and four and 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 one and two and three. Or one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a. Okay, so therefore their semi-quavers are a quarter of a beat each. Now, what are between quavers and semi-quavers? Triplets. One and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one. All of a sudden something very simple is starting to get a little bit different in the sense that you're taking two simple things such as um, uh, quavers and putting, to get, putting them together with triplets, okay? Now what goes on is if I play my bass drum, say, um, one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a, that delineates the beat, okay? Now, one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a, not so hard, really just a grade one kind of uh, an exercise here. And then, see there's the triplet. I said that that's the triplet. This is the triplet. Sorry, let me just correct myself. And there's the tom movement, just moving the right hand between the two surfaces. And what you get once again is two rhythms against each other, okay? So you get this one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one. Get the picture? Now, if I change my uh, bass drum pattern to one to two to three to four, in other words, one and a two and a three and a four, starts to get a little bit um, different now. I'll just go back to here. A little bit of coordination needed just to get that. But once you've got it, just double stroke rolls. Which I explained um, a few lessons ago called Notes Within Notes where what we've got is say just this. And then I'll double tap my left hand, in this particular case turning them into triplets. So it's almost like triplets within triplets. Do that now. Part one. Double taps now.
So something as simple as that can go to that, if you know what I mean. <laughs>